What's going on everyone? It's Lane Caston here and we're going to be reacting to Camp Camp episode number four of season three. Nikki's last day on earth. The thumbnail doesn't look promising. Rooster Teeth, we're not doing this. We are not doing this. I'm, I'm sure it will be something else, like there's going to be a metaphorical meaning or whatever uh, and all that. Because we can't lose Nikki. I mean... It would just be horrible. Nikki's a little cherub, and we can't lose Nikki. We can't lose any of the campers, and, uh, you know, think of the lawsuits that will come uh, if Nikki does die at the camp. Oof. Um, I mean, they were already struggling at the beginning of the season, and uh, if Nikki does die, then, welp. But, um, no, I've really, really enjoyed this season so far. I think a lot of people, including me, agreed that the last episode was probably the best one of the series. Uh, it had some really, really cool moments, especially Space Kids. Absolute, like, he was just, like, that moment where he was like, the fuck did you just say? Like, that seriousness was just mental. But, yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what this episode has in store. Hopefully not an actual death. Like I said, metaphorical, I don't want any death. No death, especially in Camp Camp, okay? So, with that said, um, but then again, there's been a lot of deaths anyway. So, you know, your animals, Jasper, all that kind of shit, so. But not Nikki. We can't lose Nikki. She's a little bundle of joy who, you know, we all love to death. So, with that said, let's go. Screen this. What? Oh! <laughs> Is that the platypus? Plat yes, it's the platypus. What? Platypus. I know you can't understand me since my human animal speech therapy didn't work. But if you could, <laughs> okay. you'd be very excited because you oh, would he now? are about to be the first to test my new deep throat tonic. Mwah. If this works, every awkward you might kid with an increasingly annoying voice could go straight to having the deep commanding voice of a mighty lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> so basically puberty then. Oh God. Whack. Holy oh shit, God! Platypus has got new puberty. The history of, of history. That's odd. Usually Nikki would have run in and ruined Science. everything an hour ago. Hi Neil. Sorry I'm oh. late. Daylight savings. You know how. Oh it is. God! Did you drink my experimental tonic? I give it Wait, a is it the same one? The seven out of ten for presentation. One. Nikki, <laughs> I still don't All know about what the effect the tonic has on humans. So you don't mind losing the platypus? Your voice isn't lumberjacky. I'm fine. Wait, actually, uh -oh. my tummy does feel a little funny. Uh oh, oh God, are you serious? Oh, that's she could be sick. Work. I'm gonna have my future degree like, revoked. Like, buff it all. What's going on? Nikki drank my untested tonic and now her stomach is exploding. Relax, Neil. <laughs> she probably just needs to fart or something. No, exactly, this that's isn't how like it works. Pain. This is like alien pain. Oh, oh crying out loud. <laughs> Guess we should go get an adult then. Or That's... Gwen and David. No! If Gwen and David find <laughs> oh, out, Gwen and kill David, me out of camp it. and right into prison. <laughs> I'll never survive there, Max. Look at me. Listen to my voice. <laughs> well, what are you suggesting? Poor Nikki. She's not, like, it, it, she probably just needs to are throw up. Are you sure about this? Of I'll have you does. know I am the best pretend doctor in my field. Now, tell me what's wrong. My insides feel all twisted, like Twizzlers, but horrible, <laughs> like red vines. Oh my god. Tisk, tisk. Oh no, this is no good. No good? That sounds bad. I'm afraid it is a case of death. Oh no, oh what? god. How long does yeah. she have, Doctor? What? I'd say until the end of the day. Maybe a bit less since, you know, daylight savings. End of the day? Always a bitch. <sighs> this part of the job is always the hardest. There, there. It's like Googling. <laughs> you know when you Google your symptoms and all that shit, and it says you're gonna die? Just place I know that's tucked away. A place where you and I can stay, where we can go to laugh and play and have adventures every day. I know it sounds hard to believe, but guys and gals, it's true. Camp Campbell is the place where me and you get better little up. We'll soon fill lakes and climb up trees, catch fish, bugs, bears, and honeybees. There's endless possibilities. I know that's not hyperbole. Our models can't be the M, and that means I'm telling you. We got archery, hiking, social wrestling, biking, horseback training, it'll save them a hard time to climb around, human rhyming, rhyming, football, limbo, science, stunting, pre-class, pleasure, treasure, hunting, bomb, defusal, no refusal, fantasy, circus, trapeze, and fights, and goats, and pigs, and snakes, and knives, and jets, and dance, and waits, and Need to breathe, need to breathe. 
It isn't it though. It's like isn't googling. I've got a cold. You're I gonna die. Always on Google. But lilies are definitely the right call. And this is just the beginning, Nikki. We all planned a whole day of amazing stuff for your last day on Earth. Oh Aww, God. You guys, that's really so she's not going to die. Oh, sweet. <laughs> she's probably so gonna have the runes doing? or something. Well, we've already got your tearful eulogy straightened out. And for your will, you gave all your earthly possessions to Quartermaster. He seems lonely. And I made you this. It's oh your God. last meal. Just like the one they gave my mom's friend before they electrocuted her in front of her family. <laughs> Food! <laughs> I just love that Nikki's like, Food! I would not think of dunking corn dogs in an ice cream burrito. Interesting choices, madam. Oh, we all have our weird quirks. Say, dying really makes you have some weird food cravings. Come on, Nikki. I planned you an obstacle course so extreme oh, you God. might die before actually dying. Oh, okay. Put her out of her pain. I sure hope Space Kid is keeping the counselors preoccupied. Oh my God, I just love this thing. Shenanigans. Um, are you sure this is the right pick for movie night? Um, yes. Horror Death Camp is the best. Yeah. Aren't the oh, campers God. a little too young to watch this? It's like it's Jasper. Just rated Z. Nah, they can take it. I watched these types of movies all the time when I was a kid, and I turned out great. <laughs> Thrust into his first official space mission, the young astronaut boy knew he would not disappoint his team. Come on, space kid. Uh, <laughs> oh hey, my god, space just kid. He's just like, did you need something? Uh, come on, Neil. Remember what other Neil told you to do? Exactly. Oh, come on, Neil. Deeper and more space kid. Is he having a stroke? <laughs> Leg, David. Oh my god. What happens when you die? Oh no. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. What do we tell him? The pearly gates? The giant oh forest in the sky? God. I think we should be honest. Look him in the eye and explain to him gently that there's likely no god and no afterlife, but if there is, then we're probably all going to hell. <laughs> Have good you job, ever been on job, a farm? Oh my god. Hear ye, hear ye. The princess oh my of god, that was is killer. approaching. That was a killer. <laughs> I'd be more of a fierce warrior elf riding my killer unicorn darkness. No, Nikki, this is your day. You get to be the main princess character while I'm your dutiful wizard. Oh, Yay! Okay, so oh, I'll be oh, the warrior Nikki. princess of... Oh, no! The gentle, lovely princess is being held captive by the ugly orc! No, oh, I'm my not doing God. that. <laughs> hey, orc. hey, orcs are really, really awesome. Defeating the hideous orc, the princess now runs free to the arms of the mighty wizard. Nerys the cute. Oh. The princess <laughs> wizards are, are, are wizard. even more awesome. Take it from Nikki? experience. Nikki, are you dead already? Whoa. <laughs> are you dead already? Wow. Sorry. I just feel kind of drained. Like all the blood vanished from my body. Ah, the first sign well, of ghostification. Ghostification, oh my god, With Dolph. Extra chocolate, please. Well, if blood was out of your body, and then you wouldn't look like that, I'm sure. Life, you might be reborn as something wonderful, like an aardvark or a music producer. That's dumb. If anything, you just get reincarnated as a hotter version of yourself. I have to believe that's true. There's no Live way the dream, this Gwen. is all Live the dream, Gwen. Live the dream. Regurgitation sounds fun. Close enough. <laughs> but what happens if you're bad? Oh my god. I just love I just love how Space Kid is getting like a teaching about death from, de uh, from David sure and Gwen. Not. I hardly notice my stomach pains anymore. Dying really puts you in perspective about earthly discomforts. Maybe you're actually feeling better? And it's not as serious as Dolph, the child doctor, initially said? Nope. I feel it flowing. I wanna see his qualifications, like, by the way. Oozing sensation. One day when you're this close to the end, you'll understand. Nikki, stop! This was entertaining when it was a way to freak out Neil, but you're going way overboard. You're not really dying, this isn't really happening, and this whole day was just a big, huge waste of everyone's time! <laughs> oh, oh, now look what you've hey, done! You don't hug, uh, hug. tears! I am dying, Max! Oh, Jesus! You don't care because you're selfish, and you only ever care about yourself! That's what selfish means! Oh, wow! Wow! Well, sorry, I don't know what came over me. What the hell? I guess this whole morbid experience has got me all emotional and moody. Side and effects of the, the vial. Presents, oh, shit. A Preston Good Play production. It's... By it's... <laughs> Kind of reminds me of my audio series. I'm going to find potions. God, I suck. 
I do <laughs> not understand this casting decision. <laughs> well, I am so very parched. Oh, this tonic shall soothe my aching thirst. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Yes, the potion has but increased my aching. That's dumb, Nikki. I hate everything. <laughs> oh my god, that's they're just you. impersonating I'm each other. I just love it. It is on case of that. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. I trust no one, and I don't care about anything. <laughs> oh my God! That End is... of Act One. <laughs> I, I just love that. So hard. Today I will try to be fun for you, Nikki. Fun? I hate fun. <laughs> Can I just so say this is just amazing? One last this is just time, nuts. Maximilian. The final song votes for me, good sir, and so I part. <laughs> You're fine. Not like I care. I'm gonna get tacos. Oh Jesus! There is never was a story the face more to brave than that of Nikki and Preston the Brave, and his great play, which everyone loved. <laughs> the enthusiasm for Quartermaster. Oh, Max looks so the third act dejected. Wow. I give it a seven out of ten. <laughs> oh. Nikki. Nikki should be a reactor. I'm sorry about being a jerk. You're still probably not actually dying, and this is all still dumb. But I ignored how you were feeling, so. Oh, I was right. gonna say he looked I dejected. Was he was looking in the mirror. All of us were kind of selfish. Excuse <laughs> you! I put on an entire play which everyone loved. Yeah, we did things. But did any of you ask her what she wanted to do? Hmm. I guess we all focused Ooh, on what we Max. thought would be the best last day ever. Yeah, but it's cool. All I really wanted was to spend my last day alive with all my friends. Ah, see. Okay, well you can at least still pick easy to, to please in the end. This is 100% Nikki. How do you want to end this lame excuse of an existence? Come on, Max. I don't need anything flashy. I'm finally at peace, and I'm ready to leave this world with humility and grace. Oh my god. The secret is Oh no. Oh my god, no. So, oh my that's god. What happens according to Dante's multi-level structure of the afterlife. Does this make sense? <laughs> Oh, which religion was right? Enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh my we god, don't really this is have the best. a good answer for you. Why are we here? Because we don't really reference. know what happens when you die. It's a mystery. Yes, and that's okay. It's perfectly fine not to have all the answers. So next yes. time you have a big question, life is a whole just bunch of mysteries. Else. Huh. I guess I get it now. We just have to wait until death comes to know what it entails. Precisely. Oh, great. I'm gonna go tell Nikki she can die in peace now. Oh my god! Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. But this is actually gonna kill this her. She's not love. dying. Stop! Kids, I'm concerned about the amount of times I've had to ask this, but why are you trying to set Nikki on fire? New <laughs> pussy Nikki! The amount of times! Oh like shit! Dude! Nikki, are you really dead? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> really? I'm gonna die any second. My tummy feels better, but the bleeding is getting worse. Bleeding? Yeah, I put a band-aid on it, but it is persistent. Those stomach aches. She's going for a period. Like, oh it's my a punishment God. for everything you've ever done wrong? Yeah, like all my insides were fighting each other. Odd food cravings? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yay. Mood swings? What? That, yeah, that explains it. Oh, yeah. Nikki. Come with me. <laughs> so Nikki's not dying? Nope. She's just growing up. What? Oh no, my god, I'm so worse. happy. Nikki's growing up. This is what happens when we avoid telling them things. They try burning each other on flaming boats. <laughs> I'll read you loud and clear. Come on, kids. Who wants to watch a movie? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I'm glad my time didn't kill this you. This was suitable, yeah, though. I'm just in something called a So period. wait. I can bleed forever and never die. Oh, oh my really? god. Oh, what a period do. I guess our kiddos are growing up faster than I thought. Yeah. So wait, like the I said, pub so it was afraid puberty. to be honest with them, David. The toxic. Hey, uh, what will yeah, I get my period? <laughs> on my deathbed, but I got my J's on. Oh my, oh my god, Space like Kid is just the best. All my people getting stoned at my gravestone. Wow, that was that was incredible. <laughs> that might have been one of the best episodes of Camp Camp ever. Oh my god, I I I, I got killed with that episode so much. Um, 
I just loved every bit of it, it's, uh, especially David and Gwen teaching Space Kid about death. Just love the reincarnation talk, by the way. Um, I think the thing that was that you know slayed me was the fact when Gwen was thinking, "Wait, is he having a stroke?" And then Space Kid's just like, "What happens when you die?" And they're like. Fuck. So, it was just really, really great stuff. And I just loved the writing of this. It was just really, really brilliant stuff. Uh, especially Dolph as well, being the catalyst to spark things off. And this is the thing, though. Nikki's bound to go through, like, this curiosity. So, uh, it, I mean, she's that curious kid. And, of course, this is her first time, I guess, on a period. So, like, obviously. But... You know, she's a curious person, so, you know, her mind's in a bit of a doozy about what to think. Uh, and then Dolph goes in with the best knowledge. It's it's like Googling, I've got a cold. Oh, you're going to die, basically. That's what it is. Anything wrong with you, you're dead, according to the internet. Um, but no, like I said, it was great seeing Dolph, like, just basically be the death bringer, I guess, <laughs> um, with his great degrees and all that. I mean, trust, trust Dolph. But it was just really, really awesome, this entire episode. I just loved it. I'm wondering if they'll stick through with this, like, uh, with Nikki growing up. And as the years grew, go on, she does get a bit, like, we see, well, not just Nikki, but everyone. Um, we see them transition. Um, because this is the start of a big leap. But then again, this was under the influence of the deep throat toxin, of course. Um, but it all started to make sense. I thought she was having a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde moment. Um, the first time she snapped at Max, of course. And, uh, it turns out she was having a period. So, yeah, that was, that was helped a bit, I guess, with the whole deep throat formula. Though you want to, might, you might want to reconsider the name, Neil. Um, it was just really, really awesome stuff, and I just loved this episode so much. The play was absolutely smashing as well, especially with how it resonated to Max, especially with how dejected it was. Looking in, uh, he was looking into a mirror, really did make him see perspective. And you know, with Nikki, he's one of his. Uh, he, she is one of a, uh, one of his closest friends, should I say? And you know. He knows that Nikki's going to be curious and all that. So he's got to be there for it. I mean, he he might not think that she's dying and that. And he's he might be the only one with, I guess, some level of sanity. But, you know, he's, he's got to be there and, you know, aids the curiosity along. So, yeah. And plus he was the one to, to bring up some... I, well, I wouldn't call it consideration because they were all considerate of course but he but he kind of brought some kind of sympathy along there with nobody's asked Nikki what she wants so it was just really really good I, I love this progression for Max like uh like a lot of people do see him as some kind of heartless SOB I guess uh, well this heartless character who doesn't give a crap but inside he does he he's got feelings as well and uh you know, he just doesn't express it as broad, like he doesn't express it as much as everyone else. Uh, he he keeps to himself. He, I mean, he's had a shit life, of course, beforehand, uh, before he was dumped at Camp Campbell. And, you know, that might be the catalyst to why he, uh, that's uh, one of the catalysts to why he's like that. But inside, he does care. He does care. And uh, I, think he, I think that resonated so much in this episode with, like, his dejection, his fact that nobody's asked Nikki what she wants and all that, so... Um, but no, it was just really, really awesome. The play was brilliant. Nikki's scenes were just adorable and amazing, and it was just a really, really fantastic episode. Just loved it so much, and I, like I said, probably one of the best episodes of Camp Camp. I just enjoyed this so much, so great stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feed and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!